All right, here we have the same code from the last video. I haven't made any changes to it yet, so we're going to compile this real quick. Uh, compile and run, and we see what is 2 plus 2, and we know uh, what will happen if we select each option. Um, so let's just hit C, and I'll say you are correct. But uh, if you remember, I'm going to start this up one more time. In the last video, I set it to only detect lowercase letters. So what happens if we select capital C? It'll say you did not pick an available option, even though C is there. And it's because lowercase C and capital C are two different characters. Um, so we can make it so that we can detect both capital and lower the lowercase letters by adding an extra um, uh, uh, condition to our if. So we can do that using uh, one of four. Well, well, these conditions are called Boolean conditions, and RC Basic has four of them which I'm going to go over each one here. You have AND, OR, XOR, and NOT. And basically, uh, each of these is uh, what you would think of uh, as far as in the English language, where AND is you're saying, if, if I had an uh, AND here, I would say if X equals A and uh, another condition like... Um, like 5 equals 5, which is obviously true. So in this case, if they entered A and this condition right here is true, then it would run this code. So it's basically checking to see if two conditions are true. Uh, we could also do an OR, and we basically be saying if this condition is true or this condition is true. So if either of those conditions are true, um, then it would execute the code here. So, uh, you know, same thing, 5 equals 5. If either one of these conditions are true, which this condition right here would always be true, so even if they didn't enter A at all, it would always execute this because this condition would always be true. Um, and, you know, this is just an example, but you're not going to be using some condition like this, obviously. Um, and then we go to the XOR. XOR it works uh, like a combination of OR and AND. Um, basically means exclusive OR. XOR basically means if one of these conditions is true and one of these conditions is false, then it'll execute this. So only one condition can be true for XOR to work. And then you have not, which um, not is uh, different from those in that it's not using two conditions uh, and like doing a comparison between them. Not is basically negating a condition. So if we say not x equals a, it would be the same thing as saying x not equal to a, which um, the not equal operator I don't think I've gone over yet uh, is the less than sign and the greater than sign together like that and that's not equal so uh, saying if x is not equal to a would basically be the same thing as saying if not x is equal to a and um, if you um, like as you uh, use these and uh, your code um, it'll start to make more sense but if you feel like, you know, you're having trouble understanding these, just drop a question in the forum. I'll be happy to answer that. But for this, uh, to be able to detect uh, if uh, both letters are, uh, if a letter is input, whether it's capital or lowercase, we're just going to use an OR. So if we say if X is lowercase a or X is a capital A, then do this. And then we're going to do that same thing for each of the other conditions. So if X is lowercase b or X is capital B, then do this. And the same thing for C. 
And now let's compile that and try to run it. And now let's see what happens if we press uh, lowercase c, you're correct. Capital C, you are correct. And that is it for this uh, video. And um, that's it for um, what I was going to cover on flow control. It can get a lot more complex uh, uh, the more you go on. So uh, play around with it and just try to find you know, ways of using it right now. And we're going to be using it a lot more as we dive into later lessons. I'll see you in the next video.